Hello everyone, how's it going? So today I'm going to be teaching you guys something really important. So this is going to be the first time you hop onto the game, right? Just go quick to the server. Now, when it's going to ask you to pick your rank, this is extremely important. You have to pick the right rank, right? Like if you're, this is your new fighting game, it's okay, start with rookie. So basically, unless you're like some super pro, try to go lower than what you think. And there's a good reason for that, right? So it's going to ask you, right? We're going to go set up to play online. I forgot how to do it, if I'm being honest. CFN, right? Or something. Rankings. All right, buddy. So you press square, right? You go do your thing. See, it's my first time on. You press rank. It asks you, right? Leagues rank. In rank matches, there's eight different leagues, yada, yada, whatever. You know, there's rookie, you know, and that's the the bottom. Like, if you obviously knew you pick rookie, no big deal. But even if, here's my other thing. If you think you're at least br from iron to bronze, still pick rookie, right? And then, of course, you know, vice versa for diamond or whatever, if you're trying to get better, right? Why is that? It's going to pop up in a minute. So, say, so if you think you're at least a novice, like, it depends. If you have no experience or anything, I would definitely say go to beginner or anything. Maybe you can stay a novice. Like, these two, whatever. If you're truly beginner, stay beginner. But if you at least are familiar with fighting games, you know, stick with novice. But intermediate, the main thing is for, like, these two, right? Like, well, here's my thing. If you think you're in advance, like, you already play, yada, yada, then go to advance, right? Like, if you're trying to rank up, like, you truly care for the grinding, you know, fundamentals, yada, yada, frame data. You know, like, you're at my level, then, okay, cool. Google for advance and see what it is. But even for us, I noticed, because I did this and I had two other accounts during the open beta. What I find, because here's the problem what happens, right? Say you're an advanced or intermediate. You go for it, you win, you go your first match. You're going to get someone who's either going to already be gold or a platinum or diamond or something yes, like that. You lose, it'll automatically put you into the rank below it. But if you're trying not to stay in that rank, you want to go into see intermediate, then you'll get a lot of matches and then, okay, you'll go to platinum. And then it, it's whatever, right? Like it, it looks at your losses, like how fast or whatever. And you, when you face someone in your level, say here at advanced or intermediate, you know, like if that is your level, that's fine. But the reason why I say pick one that's lower is if you want to pick other characters to learn with. That's the main reason I'm saying you should do this, right? Like your main might be like for me. Yeah, my main is at advanced, right? All my other characters are intermediate and novice. Now I would do this, but I have multiple accounts. So for this one, I'm gonna do advanced just for the rankings, my main account. But for my other accounts, I'm gonna set it to intermediate or novice, depending like how much I'm trying to learn, right? So basically do you want to do one lower so that when you start off with your new character, you immediately start fighting people who more or less are at your level so you don't get immediately like say you do advance but then you go to novice and in reality you're at least a silver or gold with that character and if you start here you will if you keep winning okay then all right i'm barely like a diamond you can get more practice getting to platinum or like okay i'm definitely where i'm at or even worst case maybe you're really really bad with that character and you actually do go to novice you get what i'm saying when you are at the one bit lower it'll be much easier to rank where you're at right like if you're at fair if you are fair with that character you are, your your secondary characters will all be at that rank if you're doing really bad you'll go to novice right and then that means you need to practice with the character i mean i had this happen with my jamie or i was in advanced and i went to like gold one or some shit or gold three but then i went right back to platinum I'm like and yeah you know what my jamie was like barely a plan but it was good i will say it wasn't it, in my case it wasn't that bad because i'm really good that my jamie was here but i would have i think i should have gone here and i did it with ryu and the other account and even jamie and guess what they all got to gold or platinum one so you'll be more or less where you're at but more for your other characters and Plus, it's less frustrating. Like, you know, would you like your first match with your new character to be someone who knows what they're doing? No, you want it to be with someone you're more familiar with, right? And then you'll build your experience as you go. And then it'll become less of a grind. It was a bit of a grind getting Jamie out of gold into it, you know, this. And if I would have picked intermediate, it wouldn't have been that big of a struggle. I know, overwinded explanation for something that's fairly simple, but yeah, that's all there is to it. So, oh, and by the way, and you're stuck. Once you pick this, this is the main thing. Uh, put it in the, in the, in the thing below. You, once you pick one of these, you are stuck it's for your entire account you cannot repick this for any other character that's the main reason i'm saying be extra careful when you choose this and that'll be it that'll be the videos uh if you guys have any other questions hopefully i'll keep making more guides and tutorials of what cop pops up in my head so uh feel free to like subscribe and of course as you guys see by the layout this is fgc dojo we help people how to play fighting games check me out on twitch of course the youtube channel we have plenty of content coming out and uh yeah also we have beginners tournaments but i gotta make a trailer for that